right in this class we are going to discuss about biosynthesis of folic acid biosynthesis of fatty acid that is folic acid okay let's see in general how fatty acids are synthesized in our body how means okay in general the dietary carbohydrates are amino acid the if you take dietary carbohydrates amino acids in excess okay these can be converted into fatty acids and stored as triglycerides and stored as triglycerides if you take excess amount of dietary carbohydrates and amino acids okay these excess amount will be converted to fatty acids okay these fatty acids will be stored as triglycerides okay then where biosynthesis of uh, fatty acids or biosynthesis of uh, palmitic acid will occur the location is cytosomal fraction of the cell cytosomal fraction of the cell nothing but cytosol okay then fatty acid synthesis mainly occur in liver kidney adipose tissue lactating mammary gland mainly occur in liver kidney adipose tissue lactating mammary gland okay then uh, what are the requirements for fatty acid synthesis or palmitic acid synthesis there are three requirements are there three are necessary for the synthesis of fatty acids or palmitic acid what are those first one uh, three compounds first one ester coe ester coe is the source of carbon atoms is the source of carbon atom and it is building block of fatty acids means uh, for the synthesis uh, here fatty acids or palmitic acid consists for suppose palmitic acid consists 16 carbon atoms okay all the 16 carbons are supplied by ester coe supplied by ester coe then second component uh, second requirement is nadph it provides reducing equivalence it provides reducing equivalence nothing but it supplies hydrogens it supplies hydrogen to that uh, palmitic acid next third compound that is atp that atp is required that supplies energy for fatty acid synthesis atp supplies energy for fatty acid synthesis so hence three compounds are required those are ester coe nadph and atp ester coe is source of carbon atom for the synthesis of fatty acids remember that point okay then biosynthesis of fatty acid will occur in three as uh, three stages biosynthesis of palmitic acid will occur in three stages what are those first production of ester coe and nadph production of ester coe and nadph and the conversion of ester coe to melyl coe after formation of ester coe this ester coe will be converted to melyl melyl coe that is second step a second stage third one reaction of fatty acid synthase complex synthase that is enzyme that is complex enzyme fatty acid synthase complex okay first one ester coe and nadph right without ester coe and nadph here fatty acid or palmitic acid cannot be produced remember that point why ester coe supplies carbon atoms and nadph supplies reducing equal nothing but uh, hydrogens let's see first one first stage production of ester coe and nadph okay as i said that ester coe and nadph are prerequisite for the synthesis of fatty acids how ester coe and nadph will required uh, how how the how ester coe and nadph will be produced that we will see in here okay here ester coe is produced from pyruvate ester coe is produced from pyruvate or or uh, amino acids or maybe fatty acids okay ester coe is directly produced from pyruvate or maybe produced from degradation of skeleton of amino acids and degrade and fatty acids if this ester coe production will take place in mitochondria matrix okay mitochondria matrix okay here whatever the ester coe produced here it is responsible for the synthesis of okay uh, fatty acid or palmitic acid where it will take place synthesis cytosol only but ester coe whatever formed in the matrix it cannot pass through inner mitochondrial membrane it cannot pass through inner mitochondrial membrane if it is not passed through this uh, inner mitochondrial membrane it cannot reach cytosol it cannot reach cytosol meanwhile production of fatty uh, production of fatty acid synthesis will be stopped or inhibited then how <coughs> how ester coe will transfer to cytosol through inner mitochondrial membrane you see there is a certain bypass arrangement will be takes place for transferring of ester coe to inner mitochondrial inner mitochondrial membrane to cytosol what are those okay here oxala acid is produced by okay pyruvate carboxylase okay pyruvate carboxylase will add carboxyl to pyruvate and produce oxala acid okay these ester coe and oxala acid combine with each other and produce citrate produce citrate this citrate is uh, catalyzed this reaction is catalyzed by citrate synthase citrate synthase here coenzyme from ester coe will be liberated 
Corinthian from S tail coil will be liberated. Here, citrate is formed, right? Whatever the citrate formed here, it can easily transfer through inner mitochondrial membrane. Okay? Then, citrate formed here, it can transfer through inner mitochondrial membrane and reach cytosol. This, this part is cytosol. Cytosol. Okay? Next, the enzyme, citrate lyage. Citrate lyage, lyage means breakdown. Citrate lyage, break down the citrate, citrate to acetyl coa. Break down the citrate to acetyl coa and as well as oxaloacetate. Oxaloacetate. As we know that citrate is com uh, formed by combining of acetyl coa with oxaloacetate, right? By the reduction of coenzyme. Okay, here citrate layers, what happens? It is breaking of citrates to oxaloacetate and acetyl coa. Acetyl coa is formed by, it is, uh, it is adding coenzyme. Okay, coenzyme added to that compound. Then acetyl coa and oxaloacetate is formed by citrate layers from citrate. Okay, and remember here acetyl coa is formed. What did you understand from this? Okay. Whatever the acetyl coa formed in the matrix, it transferred to cytosol in the form of citrate. Okay, the acetyl coa transferred to cytosol in the form of citrate. Okay, you remember that point. Okay, then oxaloacetate, then oxaloacetate is converted to malate by the enzyme malate dehydrogenase. Malate dehydrogenase. Okay, here NADH, uh, NADH plus H plus is converted to NAD. Okay, malate is formed. Here malate again converted to Pyruvate, malate again converted to pyruvate by malic enzyme. Malic enzyme converts the malate to pyruvate. Here NADPH is forming from uh, okay from NADP is collecting two hydrogens from malate and converted to NADPH plus H plus. NADPH is forming. Okay, as we said that here NADPH is formed and as well as acetyl coa formed. Here meanwhile here carbon dioxide also formed. So in the cytosol NADPH acetyl coa is produced right. Okay. What okay? Then the NADPH and the ester coa useful for the synthesis of fatty acid. Whatever forming carbon dioxide, it is also utilized for the synthesis of fatty acid. By this way, ester coa and NADPH are produced inside. Okay, produced and this will be utilized for fatty acids. Next up, I will explain how this will be utilized for the synthesis of fatty acid. Here I have shown that pyruvate. This several uh, okay several lines indicating that glucose converted to pyruvate. That we have seen in uh, glycolysis cycle. Okay, pyruvate it is also produced from glyco, uh, means glucose in gly glycolysis cycle after several reactions. The pyruvate water found here, it again converted, it again transferred through inner mitochondrial membrane and reach mitochondria. Then from the pyruvate again, ester coa formed, as well as state formed, this combined with, citrate, combined with each other, citrate will form. Okay, it will be uh, rotated, pyruvate will be, right? The, and remember, the main source of NADPH for fatty acid biosynthesis is HMP shunt. Remember that point, HMP shunt. So, as we discussed in the HMP shunt, the importance or significance of HMP shunt is production of pentoses and production of NADPH. Okay. Here, HMP shunt provides, uh, provides NADPH for the synthesis of palmitic acid and fatty acid. And, okay, that is, that is the concept. Here, production of estel coa and NADPH. Next, and uh, next, next formation of melanyl coa. Or, uh, what is the next step? Conversion of acetyl coa to melanyl coa. Second step uh, means conversion of acetyl coa to melanyl coa. Or another one, formation of melanyl coa. How acetyl coa will be converted to melanyl coa? You can see here. Acetyl coa carboxylase will convert the acetyl coa to melanyl coa by adding carbon dioxide. By adding carbon dioxide. You can see the reaction here, uh, acetyl coa and uh, difference between acetyl coa and melanyl coa, only this group, only carbon dioxide, CO2 group only. Okay, here one hydrogen is replaced from acetyl of CS3 and C uh, COO, and carbon dioxide will be added. So, acetyl coa is converted to melanyl coa, catalyzed by acetyl coa carboxylase enzyme. Okay, this acetyl coa carboxylase enzyme is biotin dependent, biotin is vitamin B7. In this, ATP is degraded to ADP plus PI. And remember that uh, ester coa carboxylase is a regulatory enzyme for fatty acid biosynthesis or palmitic acid biosynthesis. Okay, it converts ester coa to melanyl coa by adding carbon dioxide. Remember. Okay, next step, the important step, reactions of fatty acid synthesis complex. Reactions of fatty acid synthesis complex. As I told you that this fatty acid synthesis, it, it is it is complex form. Means multi enzymes are there in this multi function is doing. Okay. The remaining reactions of fatty acid synthesis, that is palmitic acid synthesis, is catalyzed by the multifunctional enzyme. Multifunctional enzyme known as fatty acid synthesis, synthesis complex. Okay, the remaining reactions for fatty acid synthesis catalyzed by which enzyme? Okay, 
fatty uh, fatty acid synthase complex enzyme okay but it is multifunctional enzyme means it consists several enzymes okay each enzyme having several okay uh, having uh, individual function then fatty acid synthase exists as a dimer with two identical ligands okay fatty acid synthase exists as dimer di means two it consists two monomer in other words it consists two monomers okay and each monomer possesses or consists seven different enzymes each monomer consists seven different enzymes and sn carrier protein bound to four phospho pantothene here fatty acid synthase is a dimer consists two monomers each monomer consists of many enzymes seven enzymes okay we, along with seven enzymes it consists sn carrier protein that is acp bound to four phospho pantothene okay i <coughs> this is the diagram you can see here this is the fatty acid synthase multi enzyme complex as i told you that it is a dimer means it, it consists two monomer okay two monomer are so two divisions okay you can see here this is okay this part is once our uh, one functional uh, this is functional unit division okay and if you divide this one is sub unit division okay this functional unit division this uh, this is functional unit division this is one more functional unit division all the combined form of this is known as dimer of fatty acid synthase complex i told you that every uh, it is one monomer it is one monomer in other words it is one monomer it is one monomer okay i told you that every monomer consists of many seven enzymes you can see for functional enzymes okay here melanyl transacyl is one enzyme ester transacyl is another enzyme keto acyl synthase another enzyme three enzymes are there and he and the keto acyl reductase fourth enzyme inal reductase fifth enzyme dehydrogenase is sixth enzyme and thioesterase is seventh enzyme how many enzymes it consists seven enzymes right and along with seven enzymes it consists acyl carrier protein <coughs> okay acp is there acyl carrier protein is bound to four phospho pantothene four phospho pantothene is there okay and uh, it also consists sulfur hydro group and uh, cysteine sulfur hydro group okay this monomer also consists seven enzymes you can see all these are uh, three here three enzymes here three enzymes here one seven enzymes acp consists four phospho pantothene and uh, both the ends cysteine uh, sulfur hydro group here four phospho pantothene consists sulfur hydro group and remember fatty acid structure if you, uh, fatty acid structure has both functional and subunit division it is functional unit this is functional unit this is functional unit fatty acid synthase in synthase has two functional units two functional right two functional units individually operates okay each functional unit individually operates and involves synthesis of two fatty acids two fatty acids simultaneously means this is functional unit this can separately synthesize fatty acid one fatty acid and this is one functional unit it can also separate one fatty acid means simultaneously how many here one fatty acid here one fatty acid two fatty acids are synthesizing simultaneously by two functional divisions and this is a dimer i told you that if you separate dimer if you separate a separate dimer into two monomers if you separate mean here it loses its activity this dimer activity or fatty synthase multi enzyme complex activity will be lose okay in the form of dimer only it can involve in the synthesis of fatty acid let's see and you can uh, for better understand let's see the reactions here okay uh, for before uh, reaction i have uh, mentioned here 1 2 3 and 4 5 6 7 means okay first uh, for the fatty acid synthesis next uh, for the fatty acid synthesis this enzyme is for first reaction is catalyzed by this okay next enzyme next reaction is catalyzed by this enzyme next third enzymatic reaction is keto acyl synthase fourth uh, fourth enzymatic reaction is keto acyl reductase fifth enzymatic reaction is nr reductase sixth one is dehydrogenase and seventh one is thioesterase okay in sequentially it will happen you can see first ester coa here ester coa here the enzyme acetyl coa acp transacylase ester coa acp transacylase transfer acetyl group to transfer ester group to acp okay okay listen here this is the ester coa and this is fatty acid synthase fatty acid synthase complex simply fatty acid synthase i can written as acp sh cysteine sh because here you can see acp sh is there okay here cysteine sh is there that's why simply fatty acid synthase enzyme can be written as cysteine it consists sulfur hydro group acp sr carrier protein consists sulfur hydro group this is uh, simply fatty acid synthase form okay the enzyme acetyl coa tra acp transacylase okay it transfer 
Name is the predicate acetyl trans acetyl to it. Okay, transfer ester group. Transfer ester group from ester to ACP here. Transfer into ACP. You can see here uh, what is the forming here. Meanwhile, this coenzyme is liberated. You can see cysteine sulfur is remain and ACP to the sulfur uh, to the ACP. What is adding ester? COCSP is adding. Okay. This is this reaction is catalyzed by ester coe ACP trans acetyl. As I told you that here first one this reaction. Estel trans acetyl engine involved here. Okay. Next, here this name is acetyl S A C P. Why acetyl S C P? Here ester group is attached to S of A C P. Acetyl carrier body. It consists S. Okay. That's why ester S A C P. Okay. Next uh, doesn't involve for the next reaction doesn't involve any enzyme. Remember. Okay. Next transfer of this ester group to cysteine. Transfer of ester group to cysteine. Okay, this ester group is transferred to cysteine. You can see here. Next, this will be formed. Means after shifting of uh, ester group from ACP to cysteine, this will produce cysteine S C O C S three and ACP S H S S will produce. This uh, name is acetyl S enzyme. Acetyl S enzyme. It is known as acetyl S enzyme. Okay, here S group consists. Okay, acetyl S enzyme. Next. Okay, and remember next set here. I I put that one means one enzymatic reaction. Next second second enzymatic reaction. What is the second enzyme? Key oh, sorry, melanin trans acetyl. Melanin trans acetyl. Okay, and then you come here. Melanin coe ACP trans acetyl. Melanin coe ACP trans acetyl. It transfer okay melanin. It transfer melanin from melanin coe. It transfer melanin. This is CO CS to CO is melanin. Okay, transfer melanin from melanin coe to okay ACP. ACP of fatty acid synthesis enzyme. Okay, transfer melanin uh, melanate from melanin coe to ACP of fatty acid synthesis enzyme. So what happened? This CO CS to CO is added to ACPS. Okay, and remaining same CO CS is same. Okay, second reaction. Okay, here this coenzyme is liberated. Okay, second second enzyme. here the formal product is known as acyl melanin enzyme. Here melanin group is added to acyl carrier body, right? That's why acyl melanin enzyme. Next one. Third reaction is catalyzed by which enzyme? Keto acyl synthase. Keto acyl synthase. You see. Uh, next beta keto acyl synthase. Beta keto acyl ACP synthase. The name itself indicates it it producing beta keto acyl ACP. Synthase means production, right? Beta keto acyl ACP. It will produce how you can see here. Uh, how it will means first beta keto acyl ACP synthase removes this carbon dioxide. Means removes this carbon dioxide from this from this enzyme. This carbon dioxide is removed. Meanwhile, after removing this carbon dioxide, this ester group is shifted to here. You can see, okay, and you can see here a carbon dioxide group is liberated. Okay, in the place of carbon dioxide, the ester group which is present uh, which is attached to cysteine is okay transferred to ACP. You can see this COCS3 transferred to AC, uh, okay transferred to ACP group. Okay. And uh, here, why beta keto acyl? Here, this is the functional group. Okay, beside carbon is known as alpha. The to the beside carbon is known as beta. So beta carbon having keto group. That's why beta keto acyl ACP. Beta keto acyl ACP. And you should remember that you should remember that these two high uh, these two carbons are uh, coming from ester coe, and uh, these two carbons are coming from ester coe. Okay. Means these two carbons are these two carbons are coming from ester coe. These two carbons are coming from melanyl coe. You have to remember that point. Okay, these two first two carbons are coming from melanyl coe. These two next two carbons are coming from acetyl coe. You have to keep in mind. Okay, that is very very important for that. So beta keto acyl ACP will be produced. Next one, next is the fourth enzymatic reaction that is keto acyl reductase. Means it undergoes reduction. Okay, beta keto acyl ACP reduction. The name itself indicates. Okay, beta keto group undergoing reduction. Beta keto group undergoing reduction means addition of hydrogen to the beta carbon atom. Okay, beta keto acyl ACP undergoes uh, reductase means undergoing reduction. So you can see here cysteine, cysteine, sulfide group, sulfide group. Okay, here remaining alpha carbon CS to same. Here this beta carbon, these two hydrogens are added. Means undergoing reduction, right? Here before that here keto group is there. Here these two hydrogens are O is converted to O H and C H is there. Two hydrogens are added from where N A D P H. N A D P H consists okay and here uh, 
two hydrogens. Okay, from this two hydrogen, beta keto acyl acid will get a transfer this two hydrogen from NADP to and beta carbon atom. Meanwhile, beta keto acyl acid undergoes reduction and produces beta hydroxy acyl acid. Here, NADP is produced. See, NADP is forming. Okay, this NADP and this are involved in the synthesis of fatty acids. Okay, next beta hydroxy acyl acid form here beta carbon having hydroxy. Next sixth fifth enzymatic reaction. What is that? Enyl reductase. Fifth enzymatic reaction is enyl reductase. Okay, means uh, enyl uh, sorry beta hydro fifth enzymatic reaction is beta hydroxy acyl acid dehydrate. This is fifth. This is fifth. Okay. Beta hydroxy acyl acid dehydrogenase is the fifth enzyme. Okay, beta hydroxy acyl acid dehydrogenase means uh, from the B. Okay, then dehydrogenase means it removes water molecule, removes water molecule from this compound. How you can see here uh, uh, these two hydrogens are liberated. These two, uh, sorry, this OH is liberated from the beta carbon atom. OH is liberated one hydrogen from alpha carbon atom. So OH plus H. S2 only, so S2 is liberated. You can see after losing of okay uh, water molecule, your CS2 become CH. Your CH only is there. Your OH is liberated in the form of water. So finally, double bond is producing double bond. So this is as we know that uh, this is known as enyl. Enyl. It is from hydration, dehydration. Trans delta square enyl ACP is formed. Okay, enyl group is attached to ACP. That's why enyl ACP. Next, enyl ACP reductase. Next one, sixth enzyme, enyl reductase enzyme ACP. Here, enyl uh, name itself indicates enyl group undergoing reduction. Enyl group undergoing reduction means addition of hydrogen, addition of hydrogen to enyl group. Okay, you can see from where enyl ACP reductase enzyme transfer hydrogen from NADPH. Transfer hydrogen from NADPH plus H2 to alpha and beta carbon. You can see, meanwhile, you can compare this two. Okay. Here alpha carbon is CH is there. Here converted to CH2. Here CH is there. Converted to CH2 means okay both uh, uh both for the both carbon atom one one hydrogen is added. Okay, so SL ACP. So this product is known as SL ACP. Here butyl. Uh, this is also known as butyl ACP. Butyl means four carbons. You can see here one two three four are there. This is actually attached to ACP. That's why butyl ACP or SL ACP. We can uh, we can say that. Next, uh, here six enzymatic reactions completed. Uh, among the seven, six enzymes are uh, they have done their enzymatic reaction. Okay, then uh, then this uh, this butyl group means okay. Then transfer of carbon chain from ACP to cysteine. Next, okay, from this carbon chain, it, from this carbon chain of ACP shifted to cysteine. This carbon chain is shifted to cysteine. Okay, this butyl group. Okay, then you can see. Uh, here it is shifted to here. So CO, CH2, CH2, CH3. This is shifted. Okay. And this is up to this. And as you remember that first two carbons, these are from melanin coa, these are from ester coa. It consists four only. This from melanin coa, this from ester coa. You keep in mind. Okay. Up to this is a one cycle. Up to this is one cycle. Then, then reactions of two to six repeated six more times. Reactions of two to six repeated six more times. Where six? Uh, where second reaction here? Okay, second reaction from this again. It, again up to this repeated up to six times. Here, if we consider up to this is one. Okay, from uh, six, two to six, uh, two to six reactions are repeated. How many times? Six times. Overall seven times. Okay, here two to six reaction uh, repeated six times means what will happen? Here you can see this group is uh, okay. Here in the place of acetyl acetyl. This group, ester acetyl means I have for better understanding purpose I have given here. I kept here. Okay, from this, okay, from this again, the melanin coa ACP trans acetyl. What it's do? It transfer melanoid group. It transfer melanin from melanin coa to to this group. Okay, for ACP, ACP, to the ACP here two carbons. Then meanwhile what happened? Then meanwhile uh, beta keto acetyl synthesis. What it's do? It removes carbon dioxide. It removes carbon dioxide from the from the ACP. And meanwhile, it transfer this group to here. Uh, okay, overall, so every every reaction will takes place. So, what did you understand? For every time, actually, it is started with two carbon. Okay, you can see here four carbons are there. Means uh, these two carbons are coming from where? Ester coa. 
these two carbon then uh, remaining two were very different are melan koe so from every time you can see these two carbon side are you can see here uh, cs this is group uh, this is group okay this is melanin here in this coh is liberated so oh, how many remaining these two carbons only so these two carbons are attached okay and you can see every time two two carbons this chain is lengthened by adding two two carbons okay every time two carbons add from melanin koe Every time two carbons added from melanin. Okay. Finally, uh, okay. If you, after repeating two to six reaction six times, for next reaction, this is one cycle means next time two carbons attached to this. Next time two carbons attached. Next time two carbons. Those two carbons are coming from melanin. Okay, melanin. You can observe that. Though, so after after completing six times, how many carbons? Six into two. Twelve carbons will be attached. Okay. And how many are there? Four are there. For four plus those six, ah, uh, this four plus twelve. How many? Sixteen plus uh, sixteen carbons will be after the completion of all seven cycles. Sixteen, ah, uh, sixteen carbons will be there. You can see here. C O C is thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen carbons, sixteen carbon palmitate is attached to ACP will be produced. Sixteen carbon palmitate attached to ACP is produced. After after completion of seven cycles, after completion of second seven cycle, for symbolic uh, purpose I have taken you can see here one two three four five six six times reactions two to six repeat six times that's why I have uh, have uh, okay I mentioned here six reactions six times okay and the palmitate group this is palmitate group or uh, palmitate group attached to ACP will be produced okay next here uh, next we have seen six enzymes only. The next enzyme is thioesterase. Thioesterase. You can observe here thioesterase. Okay. Then comes to here thioesterase. The thioesterase cleaves. Thioesterase cleaves uh, are separates. Thioesterase cleaves pa separates palmitate from ACP. Separates palmitate from ACP. And uh, separate palmitate from ACP. You can then palmitate will be produced. Pal uh, this will be separated and palmitate will be produced. So you can observe here CO COO. And the CH two thirteen, CH two, and CH three. So one, two, and uh, here fifteen, sixteen carbon, sixteen carbon molecule of sixteen carbon number of palmitate will be produced. So this is palmitic acid uh, finally produced by the fatty acid multi enzyme complex. What are seven enzymes? Okay, and you keep in mind that the first two carbons from acetyl coa remaining from melanyl coa. You keep in mind. What are those? If you observe, you can observe here. You can see here. First reaction is catalyzed by ester transacylase. Okay, ester transacylase. In the next step, okay, uh, doesn't involve any enzymatic reaction. Second enzymatic reaction, melanin transacylase. Here ester group is transferred. Okay, here melanin group is transferred. Next one, keto group. Keto group, uh, keto acyl will be synthesized. Next after forming keto group, what is the fourth? Okay, what is the fourth? This keto group undergoing reduction. Keto acyl reductase means keto group undergoing reduction. Reductase. Next fifth is dehydrogenase. Okay, means adding what uh, means uh, removing water molecule from both beta and alpha carbon atom. Dehydrogenase. And sixth, in a, after removing, okay, then enol is formed. Enol group is undergoing reduction. Okay, then finally after two to six reactions repeated uh, six times after completion of seven cycles, the sixty every time uh, already these four carbons are there. Okay, four four carbons are there every time. Two two carbons will be added from melanin coa. So total sixteen carbons. It will be sixteen. The whole will be shifted to ACP here. After after that shifted to ACP. The sixteen carbon molecule will be shifted to ACP. Okay. Then finally thioesterase cleaves palmitate from ACP and produces palmitate. And and you can see the overall reaction. Okay. You can see overall reaction. Eight ester coa. Eight ester coa involved. Ah, uh, eight ester coa. I told you that. Ester coa is the source of carbon atoms. Means all the carbon atoms present in uh, palmitic acid. Means sixteen carbons will be produced by ester coa. You can ask one question, sir. Here uh, only two carbons are coming from ester coa. Remaining fourteen carbons are coming from melanin melanin only. Then why did you say that ester coa is a carbon source? Means you can see here whatever forming melanin coa, melanin coa. Here it is participating, right? Here melanin coa is participating. Here, this melanin coa is obtained from ester coa only. Means the what are the carbons present in the melanin coa? It is also due to ester coa only. Okay, melanin coa is obtained from ester coa. That's why 
एट एस टेल को ये एट एस टेल को ये एंड सेवन एटीपी सेवन एनजीडीपी एच प्लस एस प्लस आर इन्वॉल्व इन एंड कन्वर्टेड तू एंड एस टेल एस टेल को ये आफ्टर डूइंग सेवन साइकिल्स ओके एट एस टेल को ये कन्वर्टेड तू पाल मिटे एंड सेवन एटीपी कन्वर्टेड तू सेवन एडीपी सेवन एनजीडीपी एच प्लस एस प्लस कन्वर्टेड तू सेवन एनजीडी एंड सिक्स वाटर मॉलिक्यूल्स आर प्रोड्यूस्ड एंड एस एस एड एस टेल इन प्रीवियस क्लास आफ्टर फॉर्मिंग सेवन साइकिल्स आप ओके पर कंप्लीट ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ पॉलिटिक एसिड हमारी सेवन साइकिल्स ऑफ बीटा ऑक्सीडेशन ओके हियर फॉर फॉर्मेशन ऑफ पॉलिटिक एसिड सेवन साइकिल्स ऑन हियर आल्सो ओके फ्रॉम द एस्टेल कोए एंड एनजी डीपीएच ओके दिस इज अबाउट बायोसिंथेसिस ऑफ पॉलिटिक एसिड ओके इफ आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस दिस टॉपिक इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट मींस एनी डाउट यू कैन कमेंट यू कैन कमेंट इन कमेंट सेक्शन थैंक यू